it's that time of year again, crock pot season. We love crock pot season around here, especially since it gets so cold up here in the north. This one is a special one today because this video is in collaboration with my friend Amanda over at Faith Food and Family. I will link all of her stuff down below. You must check it out. She has so many recipes. All of her food is delicious and easy and so adaptable and perfect for if you're in a recipe rut. So scoot on over there and check her out. If you're coming from her channel, hello, my name is Megan. As the name might lead you to believe, I am a born and raised Mainer and very proud of it. My style of cooking revolves mainly around comfort food. Comfort food that I grew up with, that I have now, new recipes that I might just throw in there once in a while, but food that my friends have grown up with, people around the world have grown up with. I just love cooking and baking in general. So that's what I do. And I just film it. Back to the crock pot. Today I wanted to make a chicken lemon herby butter concoction. I'm gonna link the recipe down below in the description that I'm working off of. However, I am not a recipe follower, so I'm gonna just tweak it a little bit to my liking. But anyway, I'll just leave it down below and you can do with it what you want. First, I wanna prep a few things before dumping everything in the crock pot. I'm pretty sure the recipe paints this as like a dump and go, but I'm not a dump and go kind of girly, so I'm gonna do a little extra work, but it pays off, I promise. It's good. We can get started because I already have to wait long enough to eat, which is unacceptable, but I know it'll be worth it. Okay, it is time for the crock pot. I have just got my full size boy over here. First things first, I just sprayed a little bit in here with some nonstick spray. I don't think you have to, I just like to, to make my life easier. You can use a liner as well if you have them. First thing I'm gonna add is the chicken. I prepped this chicken a little bit beforehand. I just threw it in a pan, seared it off, just to get some color on there, some extra flavor never hurt. Color is flavor. Then I just deglaze the pan a little bit to get all those little bits out of there. So that's also flying in here. The thing that gravitated me towards this recipe to begin with is that it uses thighs and I am a legs and thighs girl all the way. So you can use chicken breasts if you want to, but dark meat's where it's at. Right onto the chicken, I have this little spice rub. What's in here? Salt, pepper, I put some lemon zest in here, one lemon's worth. Garlic powder, onion powder, red pepper flake, lemon pepper, and that Kinder's uh, buttery steakhouse, I think it is. This one right here, so good. Put it on all your meat and all of your veggies. You're welcome. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of sprinkle it on over. Get all of that flavor on there. Now I've just got some chicken stock with one lemon's worth of juice. I'm just gonna pour that in here. I've got some butter that I'm playing with today, so I'm just gonna put half of my butter just sprinkle that on in there. I roughly chopped a few cloves of garlic, throwing that in there. I know that I put garlic powder in there, but you can never have enough garlic in my opinion. The recipe also didn't really call for much of anything else, but I'm just adding some onions. This is just like a sliced up sweet onion that I had that I think would just be lovely. And I've also got a jar of artichoke hearts. I love artichokes. I add them to pretty much anything I cook. So I'm just going to throw a bunch in here because lemon and artichoke and chicken. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put some more of that spice rub actually on the vegetables so it gets everywhere. I'm gonna go high and fast with this one because I'm kind of starting a little late. So three to four hours on high for me today, but you could also do low and slow, six to eight hours, perfect. Put it on, set it, and forget it. I'm such a doof. I forgot to put the rest of my butter on here. <laughs> Why'd you remind me, gosh. So now I can set it, forget it. So pretend like I didn't just mess up. In a couple of hours, I'm just gonna Take a look, check on things. Oh yes, just wanna 
zhuzh some things around a little bit, submerge as much as I can because I want it all juicy and good. But it is looking good. This smells amazing. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. Popping the cover back on. Another hour or so, we should be good. You can eat it just like this, of course, but I feel like you have to have a starch. So I think I'm gonna put this over rice. I feel like rice today, so I'm gonna prepare that in the meantime, but this is looking good. We're on schedule. It is time. Just turned it off, and about a half an hour ago, I added in some lemon slices. Everything looks so nicely done. Everything is juicy. Ooh, this chicken down here is falling apart, but we are done. It smells amazing. I can't wait to eat this. I'm gonna try to give it one last zhuzh around and we can plate. Let's a closer look at my plates. The one thing about crock pot recipes is that they're just like not attractive most of the time, but we all know it's the personality that counts. And this has got some personality. Look at that chicken. It just falls apart. Mm. Yes. I've been smelling this for far too long and I need to eat it. And it is, oh no, it's sunny. Hold on. Let me shut the shades. There. It's all just like right there waiting for you. Have the first bite. That flavor is unbelievable. The lemon is out of control. It's so lemony, so chickeny. The onions and the artichokes add such a good flavor to it. Mm. Wow. So comforting, so delicious. You gotta make this, you're gonna love it. I promise. And don't forget to go and check out Amanda's channel. You won't regret that either. I promise. Enjoy.